Congratulations on purchasing the Bravo Plus spotting machine. In this video we are going to show you how to use the machine safely and get the most out of your machine when cleaning spills. We shall also show you how you can use the hand tool to clean upholstery. Before cleaning, always ventilate the area by opening windows or doors. To begin with, we are going to use the Bravo with the wand to remove a stain from the carpet. Close off the area to be cleaned and let others know you are cleaning by placing warning signs. The entrance and exit points to the area being cleaned. They may be placed the other side of doors to the area to warn others before they enter. This is the coffee stain we are going to remove. To do this, we are going to need a stain remover. Make sure that the chemical is suitable for the carpet type and the stain. You need to identify the carpet type and backing material, as these affect the amount of water that can be used and the type of chemical you should use. To identify the carpet type, either find a loose fibre or carefully remove one from an edge. Remove the carpet fibre and carry out a burn test to identify it. Always do the burn test in a safe location. For more information on this, please contact Bix or Victor. You can check the backing by either looking between the carpet fibres or by peeling back the edge of the carpet and looking at it. If the backing is rubber as it is here, you can use a fair amount of water without a problem. For information on other backing materials and their effects, please contact either Bix or Victor. Whatever the carpet type or colour, it is important to pre-test the chemical. This quick test will tell you whether the chemical is going to react with anything in the carpet and cause a problem. Remember that whenever you are handling chemicals to wear the correct PPE, in this case we are using gloves. Pour some of the chemical onto a white cloth or towel. Place the cloth chemical side down onto an inconspicuous area of carpet. Apply pressure to the cloth and keep it there for about 30 seconds. Then turn the cloth and check it for colour transfer. If the cloth has not taken any of the colour from the carpet, you should be safe to use the chemical. If you can see some of the carpet colour on the cloth, do not use the chemical and refer to the carpet manufacturer's instructions for cleaning. As you can see, there is no colour transfer, so we are safe to use our chemical. Spray the chemical onto the stain. You can also use a brush to agitate the chemical into the stain. Always brush from the outside edge of the stain to the centre to avoid spreading the stain. You are now ready to remove the stain using the Bravo Plus. The first check for electrical safety is to look for a valid PA test sticker. It is usually found on the base of the machine next to the switches. If there is not a valid PAT sticker on the machine, do not use it and report to your supervisor. Carry out a visual check of the machine to make sure it is not damaged. Before and after use, it is vital to check the cable for damage. Lift the cable from the machine and using a cloth to clean as you go, check the cable for damage. Run the cable through your fingers to feel for signs of damage. Finally, check the plug has a fuse and the pins are straight. If you find any damage to the cable, do not use the machine and report it to your supervisor. Internal wires visible through the outer casing of the cable are extremely dangerous. Do not use a machine with damage to the cable. Report it to your supervisor. Check that the plug has a fuse and does not smell of burning. Now check that the pins are straight. If the pins are bent, do not use the machine. Remember, the Bravo Plus is often used where there is water. Any damage to the cable could be deadly. It is best practice to check the tanks before use. Remove the recovery tank by first unclipping it from the base. Once you have unclipped it, you can lift off the top tank. Check the solution tank for any problems and look at the connections inside to make sure they are secure. Look at the vacuum filter and check it is clean, then replace it the same way up as it was when you removed it. You can now fill the tank with your solution. Either pre-diluted in a bucket, or you can add the water using a hose and then the correct amount of chemical separately. Once the solution is in, you can then refit the recovery tank. 
securing it by closing the two clips. The final checks are to the hose and tools to make sure there are no blockages. The easiest way to do this is to drop a coin through the hose or tools. If the coin falls out the end of the hose or tool, it is clear. Carry out the same procedure with the wand. Then the hand tool. Check that the jets on each of the tools are clear. If you find any blockages in the hoses, pipes or jets, contact your supervisor as they need to be cleared before the machine is used. Connect the hose end to the machine by pushing it onto the spout. You can then connect the spray connection by pulling back the outside cuff and pushing it on. A click shows it is connected securely. Connect the other end of the vacuum hose to the wand by pushing it onto the top of the wand. Attach the other end of the spray connection by pulling back on the cuff and inserting the male connector. You will hear a click when it is correctly fitted. Make sure that your hands are dry before plugging the machine into the socket. Insert the RCD plug into the socket and then the plug to the machine. Finally switch on the power and activate the RCD plug. You can now turn on the machine and start cleaning. The on off switch is located at the back of the machine. Setting 1 operates the vacuum only and setting 2 operates the spray and the vacuum. We want to use setting 2 so we want to spray some solution onto the floor whilst cleaning. Pulling the lever on the handle starts the spray and releasing it stops the spray. So we have treated the stain with chemical and we are now going to remove it. We have turned on the vacuum and the spray, now we are going to pull the one backwards over the stain. This puts down our pre-mixed chemical from the tank and will vacuum up the stain in most of the solution. Remember that our goal is to leave the carpet as dry as possible. So once you have removed the stain, always do at least two dry passes with just the vacuum on. Continue this process on all the stains you need to remove. Or, if you are cleaning a small section of carpet, continue using systematic overlapping passes. Once the task is completed, switch the machine off. It is a good idea to place the wand facing upwards on a mat or spare piece of carpet. This will prevent any drips from the wand getting back onto the carpet you have just cleaned. It is best practice to place the chair on a hard surface, board or scrap piece of carpet before cleaning to catch any drips. Connect the vacuum hose and the solution pipe to the hand tool in the same way as the wand. The solution pipe will click into place when properly connected. You should work from the top down on upholstery and our aim is to leave it as dry as possible. So for every wet pass you make you should follow it with two dry passes over the same area. Then move on to the seat of the chair. Continue making two dry passes for every wet pass, taking care not to spray over the edges of the furniture. Once you have finished, switch the machine off and leave the chair to dry fully before putting it back into use. You should empty the machine after every clean. Remove the recovery tank by unclipping it from the base and lifting it off. If the transport handle is in the down position, pull it up to expose the recovery tank cap. Make sure that the tank is tilted forwards before removing the cap by turning it anti-clockwise. You can then pour the dirty water into your designated disposal point. Once the tank is empty, replace the cap. Finally, recheck the cable for damage before safely storing the machine. We recommend that the hose and wand are disconnected from the machine during storage. This allows some air to circulate through the recovery tank and helps prevent odours. We hope you have found this film useful. If you have any questions on this machine or you have a problem with it you cannot solve, please contact the Victor Service Department on 0121 765 2353.